Hello, this video will review how to use Brightspace by D2L's attendance tool. Instructors can create this attendance scheme to track each student's attendance in the class. It is important to note that this does not auto-populate or is not self-reporting by the student. The instructor would need to input this attendance daily as he or she calls roll. The instructor and student can see the individual dates that he or she attended or was absent, as well as the overall percentage of attendance performance. This does not automatically count as a grade in the D2L gradebook, but it can be set up to do so. To begin, navigate to your course where you would like to create the attendance scheme. Then, under Tools and Resources, choose Attendance. Before you start to create the attendance register, which is what you're going to use to input your daily attendance, you may want to determine what attendance scheme you would like to use. So we'll choose this first. There are several schemes that you can choose from instead of creating your own. The default scheme, if we choose to view it in a window, is just present and absent. The student receives 100% of the credit for today in the attendance scheme if they are marked as present and a 0% if they are marked as absent. You may want some more fluctuation in that. So there's also a suggested scheme here. And in this case, the student receives 100% of the uh, credit for, in the attendance scheme for attending um, and being marked as present. They receive 0% for an unexcused absence. If they arrive late or early depart, they only receive 50% of the credit for the day. Um, and then if they have an excused absence, it would be 100%. And in most cases, you may mark them initially as an unexcused absence, giving them 0% of the credit for the day and then you might have to come in and um, add in or change it to an excuse absence to fix that their overall percentage. So this is a common one you may want to use. If it is the one you select, you would just choose set and it would make it as your default scheme for this course. But let's go through creating a new scheme just in case you want to do so. You would want to start by giving your scheme a name. You could just name it your name. If it's something specific to a, a certain course, you may name it the name of the course. Um, I wouldn't recommend naming it perhaps the name of the semester because this is something that you can copy over and use in multiple classes either within that semester or in future semesters. Then you want to put in the symbol. This is what's going to be available in the drop down. I just usually use the first letter of the status name. So P stands for present, A stands for absent, L stands for late. Um, and then I could put in an additional one if I wanted to. So add an additional status. And then it would give me an additional line to add in. Then I would want to determine what percentage they earn based upon how they are marked. So if they're marked as present, they're going to get 100% of the credit in the um, attendance tool that day. If they're marked as zero um, or absent, then they'll get 0%. If they're marked as late or early, they would get 75%. I could change this to where if they leave late, they only get 50% or whatnot. When you're finished adding in your different um, options and your schemes, then we will save that. And then we'll close it and we'll be ready to go ahead and make our attendance register. So right now, since this is the one I want to use, I'll set it as the default for this course. And this is going to be the one that is currently active in the course. Now I'll go to Attendance Registers and I'll go ahead and make a new register. Now keep in mind these attendance schemes will copy over if you are you know, copying this shell over to a new course. These registers will also copy over so you want to be careful about how you go about naming these um, dates in which you're taking attendance. So we'll make a new register and we'll just give it a name. I would name it something like attendance. Um, you could name it the name of the course, but keep in mind you can use this for multiple courses and multiple semesters. Then you would want to pick the training uh, or the attendance scheme that you want to use. I'm picking this new training scheme, which is the one that I just made. And then you want to put in a percentage for calls for concern. 
all this does is highlight in red if a student meets that level. So if I say they are in class less than 50% of the time and their percentage gets down to a 50, then I want it to alert me um, so that when I go look at the attendance, it's in bold red so that I know maybe I need to address it to the student. And it also shows in red to the student so that they know you're getting below the threshold um, of what is an acceptable um, attendance. Then of course, by default, uh, the students are able to see their attendance register and see when they're absent or present or what they're marked for. Um, some, some professors may want to make this invisible to where only the um, instructor can see it, but if you allow them to see um, their, this, this piece of the attendance, then they're able to monitor their own progress in that sense. So now below we're going to actually add in the sessions for every day you're going to take attendance. So it's probably tempting to put in the dates and say, you know, were they present or absent on 1019, were they present or absent on 1021, and adding in those dates. However, if you copy this over to another course, that um, you would have to go in there and edit all of those because those dates wouldn't be accurate anymore. So instead of giving it the date of the um, attendance, you may want to change it to something like day one, day two, Yes, you would have to keep up for this particular class. What is day one? What is day two? What is day three? But that does make it a little bit more transferable. So this is going to be the session date, which is going to be the date that you're taking the attendance. And then you can put in a description if you want to. You don't have to. Um, in this case, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I'll need to. Then you can add in as many sessions as you want. So maybe this We'll say, just to keep it easy, that this, um, this course is six days long. So I'll have my six different days. And now I'll go ahead and save that. At this point, I have my attendance scheme set up and I'm ready to go ahead and start taking the attendance. First, you would want to go to Tools and Resources and then Attendance. Then you'll click on the name of the attendance and you'll be able to see a listing of all the students in your course. So this is going to pull from the class list, which is going to be the most up to date in terms of who is enrolled in your D2L course. Then you see you have the dates that we included in our attendance register of when you're going to be taking attendance. Then we see a total section. Remember that these um, letters align to our different schemes for present, absence, late, and departure. And then over here on the side, we would see their overall percentage. So when it's time to take attendance for day one, I simply select this. And then I can come through and then just mark them as whatever they happen to be. If you have a relatively long list of students and most of them are present, you can select all, choose st set status as present, and then just go in and change who might not actually be present. Then you can save that and the attendance will have been marked for that particular day. So by the end of the semester, you should see that each of these um, columns is completed based upon the attendance for that day. You should also see all of the totals of this particular student was present six days. So every day they had zero absences, zero late departure or late um, entries, and then zero departures. Their overall attendance was 100%. In this case, you see the student was late a couple of times, early departed a couple of times, and was absent a couple of times, so their overall percentage was a 70. Notice this is in red with an exclamation mark because this meets my calls for concern. If you remember earlier, I put in my calls for concern as 50%, and this student is at 33%, which means he is absent more than what our, I consider to be um, the threshold necessary to be successful in the course. So this will um, show for him as well as for me, and so I may then want to click on him and send him a quick email, which would be sending him a Brightspace by D2L email showing concern for him being late or per perhaps absent. If I were a student, I would go to Tools and Resources, Attendance, 
click on my attendance register, and then I would be able to see my overall percentage, how many days I was present or absent, as well as my different options here of each day and what um, my, my selection was. So again, this is a great way for the student to be able to keep up with their own absences or attendance. Earlier we discussed that this attendance percentage does not automatically populate over to the D2L gradebook, but you can create a way for it to do so. So we're going to go to the grades area, and we're going to go to manage grades. Then we're going to create a new grade item for attendance. Now we're going to make a new grade item, and we'll just name it attendance. If this were a weighted scheme, you may choose to weight this item to be um, in a certain category and weigh a certain amount of the overall grade, um, such as if you had a category that was the participation, you might want the attendance to be a piece of the participation. In this case, I have it set to where it's just a um, flat point value. So in the maximum points, I'm going to put 100 because I'm then going to take over whatever this percentage was and put that in as the uh, points that they earned out of a total possible 100 points. I can choose this to be a bonus item if I want to, which means that it will help them, um, but it won't hurt them. Um, in that case, it's not really a regular grade item. It's an additional two grade item, or if you do want it to actually be a regular grade item, and if they really didn't attend class, that could actually hurt their overall average, then you would just leave it as a regular grade item. Now we're going to save and close and we will have created our grade item and then now just at the end of the semester once all the attendance grades are in I would just come over to this attendance column and I would just populate whatever was here so 100, 33, 70, and 83. And then I would simply save and since this was set to be part of their actual average and not a bonus, it will help or hurt their overall final average. So this is how you can use and set up attendance schemes within Brightspace by D2L, input the attendance, as well as make that count for a grade item if you want to.